Hey everybody, welcome to Mom Plays. I am Mom and Dance is wanting to talk immediately. I was actually over here improving and doing some stuff with weapons in anticipation of this, uh, this recording and he keeps wanting to talk. So he says he wants to talk off the record. All right. You're Absolutely. Go ahead. Thank you. This is difficult for me to say, so I hope you'll bear with me as I try to get through it. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience for both of us. I agree. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a Brotherhood soldier that you don't already know. Uh, it's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. Okay. I know there's more you want to say. Go on. Yes, I'm getting to that. I'm just not very good at these things. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. We got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was a way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. Okay. I'm glad you had greater ambitions than just selling junk. Once I saw what the Brotherhood had to offer, there was no comparison. Anyway, about a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on a scouting op. It took some convincing, but I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad and search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to a super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. He should have been so lucky. Did they dip him? The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. Yep. He wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to... It was my duty to put him down. Well... You did the right thing. It's what I was taught. I don't know if it was right. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic. But I'd never consider any of them to be a good friend. A friend like Cutler was. Until now. Just it's friends? It's a good feeling, but it frightens me all the same. Having a bond with someone, then losing them. It changes you. I don't want to go through that again. Well, let's flirt and see if we can even pass that. It would never be that way with me. I... I care about you too much to let that happen. From one soldier to another. Damn. I'm glad to see that our bond is as strong as ever. I just thought you deserved to know how I felt. If you feel that I've overstepped my bounds, I completely understand. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen. Well, no problem, Dance, but you should have flirted back. You really, you should have. God, poor my heart out to you. Uh, let's fix our power armor while we're here. Beautiful. And then, um, I think, I think the right thing to do would to be not to take Paladin Dance with us to the, to the railroad. Hey, hey, get back here. Get, 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 whoa. Hey, you're, you're going crazy, but, hey. um, Go ahead. I didn't want to trade. I hey. wanted to. Inquiring about anything in particular? Yes. I think it's time we split the team. Affirmative. I'll see what I can do to make myself useful while you're gone. Add Victoria. Do that. Um, wow, I'm tempted to send him to Boston Airport, actually. Let's do. Let's send him to Boston Airport. That's where he needs to go. Um, and we, we might, as the name of this, uh, this episode implies, we might actually go meet up with him there. Uh, is that Deacon? Hi. <laughs> Want me back on deck, huh? I got to admit, things have been pretty quiet without you. Are you incognito? Let's go then. I'm all In my ready Minute to go. Man settlement, jerk face. All right, let's go take this. Uh, where is it? Butcher's Bill 2? Yeah, report back to Dr. Carrington. 
and then actually we might do a little building here for paladin dance at uh at the at the rare uh, railroad at the airport because i want to make sure he has a nice place to stay because i will always send him back to the airport that that's just that's just where he belongs what drummer hey, boy you. randolph safe house has been mia since switchboard but now we got one of the dead drops tab do ya des wants you to check it out Alrighty. um I hope this means Randolph is safe after all. It'd be nice to get some good news for a change. Once you take care of the dead drop, report him to Dez. Hmm. Okay. Well, right now, we gotta go... Jesus, Dr. Carrington is asleep again. We gotta go wake this guy up. The survivor from Augusta, Blackbird, is dead. I didn't find any evidence of where the synth is. Yeah, get up, Dr. Carrington. As I expected. Well, at least you weren't hurt. Perhaps Desdemona would listen to me next time. Perhaps. Hopefully this will help you in your future missions. Now, if you don't mind... Alrighty. Um, thanks, jerk as ever. Um, what did he, lightweight reinforced combat armor left arm? Oh, well, what am I wearing on my left arm? Brace painted metal? Oh, yeah. We'll put the combat armor on then. Okay, what is going on? I thought I dropped that off. Oh, okay. Um, we got a lot of synths in play right now. Makes things really dangerous. Does it? How dangerous does it make it? That's what I want to know. Um, okay, so where does Desdemona want us to go for picking up the dead drop it's just outside of Bunker Hill sure we'll go pick it up then we'll have it hey you know if you are playing this and you're not really keen on the railroad there's one basic reason why you should at least do their quests up to a certain point uh especially uh particularly pam's quests and that's to get ballistic weave it's the best weave that you can put on clothing in the game so yeah even if you don't like the railroad you should at least do it up to that point and then you can slaughter them or do whatever you want with them i mean i've i've slaughtered them i've not slaughtered them but i always make sure um I do Pam's quests to the point where I have Ballistic Weave because that is really important to get. All right, what do we got? Randall Station number one. Oh, it's University Point. Okay, this is the University Point is actually a really fun one. Um, let's get. Let's listen to this if we can. Mr. Timms here. Randolph Safe House was not hit, but do not make direct contact. Repeat, do not make direct contact. We got three packages, very scared packages here, requesting assistance. Our runner reports we got Gen 1's camp nearby, assuming we're under surveillance. <laughs> Please have a heavy clear the area. Coordinates enclosed. After, please pass our status back to Big D. Mr. Tim's out. Mr. Tim's out. Okay, Mr. Tim's. Um, so before we do anything like that, because of the title of this thing, it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that, I need to go um, back over here and assign a settler to, a, to supply lines. We need to start hooking, hooking things up here because we did get local leader one, so we can do that. So we need to do that. And the first place we're gonna hook into is the Boston airport, because we're gonna go over there and make dance a nice little brotherhood place to kind of hang out and do his thing.
All right, I need a, is that Mama Murphy on the cooking station? That's amazing. So there's five people that were the original inhabitants. There should be five more people that uh, possibly could potentially be, um, that's Mama Murphy and Preston's place. So nobody is in here, it looks like. So, okay. Um, is there anybody in here? Oh, you know what? Duh. You want to know an easy way to gather up all your settlers is to just install one of those bells. I have a feeling, though, Nick and Deacon were both, um... Ooh, is that Carla? Let's sell off our chems. Nick and Deacon were yeah. assigned here. Hey, Carla. Need to pick something up? Uh, it's pretty long from here. Yeah, I know it is. I'll take a look. Sure. Can you I sell it? you some stuff? Now buy it. Can, can I can I sell you a whole bunch of stuff that I don't want? Uh, a couple buff outs, a couple jets, medics, mentats, psycho. Thank you. Um, who are you? You're probably assigned to. You're probably my guy that's assigned to. The. Uh, La, 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 la. Defense. Yep, you're assigned to defense. You're assigned to defense. That's Deacon. That's Mama Murphy. Yeah, okay. Go into resources. Go through this entire weird thing I have of resources to find the bell. These are all scavenging stations made to look like something else. It's a mod that I have, and it's actually really cool because they'll it'll scavenge certain things, but it looks like they're doing other things. Ah, there's the bell. Um, let's put the bell in front of Preston's place for now because that is where we would want everybody to kind of congregate, right? Is in front of Preston's place. So, yeah, bell. Ring it. Let's get going, people. Come on. I need to know who all's here. Codsworth, thank you for coming on such short notice. Come on, guys. Come on. There's Codsworth. I see somebody. It's probably Preston. That looks like the way Preston walks. Oh, good lord. It takes you people forever to get here. Cosworth, you are the most timely and, and courteous and polite machine ever. All right, they're starting to get over here. Let's go into workshop mode while they uh, while they all come up so I can see who, what, where, when, why, and how. Preston? Hello? I might have to take, there's Marcy. I might have to, oh, Piper is here too. I might have to take somebody off of, um, off of the defense to um, give, make a supply line, which it's not gonna really, it's only gonna take like two defense off. Ooh, not off of that one. That one's gonna take five. Hmm. Hi, everybody. Hi. Glad to see you. Glad glad to see y'all. You're, you're looking good. Who are you? You are assigned to a supply line. Bye. Get a move on. All right. That should give us a supply line to... Okay, we've got two supply lines. Good. We've got one going to Outpost Amonja. Poor Ten Pines. We have nothing going there. And we have one going here. And those should be our only ones anyway. Uh, hmm. Can I take one of them off of making food, put a supply line up to there? Let's let's fix this really quick because I don't like it when my settlements get unhappy, which is really fun in survival mode because like basically the only the only reason to get settlements is to have one that's your base, which is Hangman's Alley for me because it's in such a central location to Diamond City and some other things. It works out really well. 
and sanctuary because you know you go and rescue what's their faces the minutemen preston and everybody so you kind of have to do a supply line or you kind of have to do that one every other one is literally to put a food and bet in basically that 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 is literally all it's good for because you don't want to ha have a bunch of settlements that get attacked with people in them you can't get to them you have to, there's no fast travel you have to you have to physically go to them well look at this i didn't even break down any of this stuff either did i what have i been doing lazy ass I mean, I've basically been ignoring these guys is what I've been doing. It's not, not very nice. Um, whoa, barrels can go. Um, but yeah, we should probably get them in on the supply line because we are doing a Minutemen playthrough, so it is significantly different than doing my other playthroughs. And we want these people to be happy and, and, and all that good stuff. You, my good man, I would like you to go to Outpost Zamonja as a supply line is that bush good oh, that bush is gonna be in my way hello hello pardon me coming through um i would like to be able to build you guys all oops all sorts of stuff i want you to be happy and 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 you know all that so uh you you go off that direction oh good they have water i mean i'm not gonna give you any um any more settlers right now but i would like to give you some defense all right so we are going to wait a minute i don't have gun nut one fine we're going to give you the shittiest defense we can but it's going to be something and you're going to be happy with it that is how this is going to work i know that they tend to come from these two directions so we're just going to kind of stack some uh turrets up here 20 defense, smile, be happy. All right, we have fixed that up. Told you this was going to be a bit of this and a bit of that in the title of this episode. And was I lying? Hells no. Oh, can we break that stuff down? Let's go break that stuff down while we're here. And then let's go give dance. Oh, it's just outside the settlement boundary. Okay, let's go give dance. A good place to sleep maybe some food I mean we we don't have anybody else there but that's okay then we'll have people there they'll make some food I might actually set up a settlement beacon for here and we'll just fill it full of brotherhood we'll make everybody wear brotherhood armor and stuff Oh my gosh, I just thought about this. I, I usually drop a save between episodes, and because I just did this back-to-back, -back, I did not drop a save. And I was just thinking, you know you're not in survival mode when you're not even worried that you didn't drop a save yet. Yeah, seriously, that's, yeah. Um, you know, I don't want these fancy couches because this is a brotherhood settlement. So we are going to just scrap Ola everything, everything. We're just going to scrap everything. It's all going to go. We're going to clean it up because, come on, this is the brotherhood. They're going to have somebody on de who did something bad and is being punished who is on detail to absolutely clean every scrap of rubble out of this place. You know that's how it's going to work. And all this does is just, no, I do not want giant Amazonian statue thingy. Um, we are going to keep an ashtray. I'm assuming with their jobs, they uh, smoke a lot because it's tough and they are stressed. And they're military, so they smoke a lot. Bam, that's gone. I'm keeping the rugs and stuff. I might have a, a thought on those later, but this stuff, that. Nope, not the rug, not the rug. I want to keep the rugs because I might have a thought on that later. Now, one thing I did learn, which is really interesting about this scrap uh, anything 
kind of stuff mod that I have is if you blow up the Brotherhood and so you and you never do like the Liberty Prime stuff, um, I can actually scrap the door going into here and I can get in there. It is really weird, but I can do it. And in that mode, raiders spawn inside of there for, or not raiders, Brotherhood of Steel members spawn inside of there. And so you are constantly being alerted to like enemies in the area. It, it makes this a really weird settlement. All, you are all going to go. We are going to have a clean slate. No, yes. Clean slate. It's going to be a beautiful thing. We're going to give Dan some place to live. And Brotherhood people some place to live. Because obviously, I mean, like, I've always thought about this every time I've had a playthrough of this game. Like, you, the Brotherhood has tons and tons of people, right? That they have brought here to uh you know get rid of the institute kill super mutants blah 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 but they can't all fit on the pridwin there is absolutely no way they have to they have to make barracks and stuff here at the airport right so this makes total sense to me that you would clear this out and make this totally the brotherhood's digs so let's do that. At least for dance, for now. Okay. Nice, clean slate. Is there anything over here that we can scrap? Oh, sure. It's not... Did I... Oh, did I leave the... No. We have plenty of room here. Why can't I scrap this shit? All right. Well, that is really, 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 really weird that I can't scrap that stuff. Um, we don't need to scrap trees. We're tied in. We've got this, right? What about, can I scrap any of, wow. I cannot scrap any of that. We'll take the cinder blocks though, I guess. And the mounds of garbage. And the driftwood, I guess. Um, hmm. I thought I could scrap a little bit more of that than I can. But I'm not complaining. I mean, look at how much shit we could scrap. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna go into a, a uh, into one of the mods that unfortunately you can't get anymore. This is thematic and practical, and I freaking love it. It is going to let me build Brotherhood of Steel pods. The first pod is going to be for dance, and we're going to just put his pod right up here. Doesn't really need to be way off the ground or anything. What's this? Foundation? Found what kind of foundation? Ooh, I kind of like that foundation, too. Um, do I want that? Or do I want it to be... Uh, these all look the same. Oh, that does not, though. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. Um, let's go for this one. And we will make him a nice little... He's a, he's a paladin, so we're going to make him a pretty... Not... I like to do things that are odd-shaped. So we're going to do something a little odd-shaped for him. Maybe. Hopefully. Um... So there's the ground peaches, walls, roofs, doors, stairs, miscellaneous. Okay, so walls. First of all, this is dance we're talking about. He gets he gets windows. Ooh, let's do this window too. I like that. That's kind of funky. Um, and then of course he's gonna need a door, and we're gonna place his door here. His door does not have to face everybody. He could come out and not have to see everything. Well, actually, I would rather it face that way. Yes. Okay, 
door. Oh, the walls for curved walls. I forgot about these. We need to rethink this. <laughs> we need to rethink this a little bit. Dance is a fancy guy. He gets fancy stuff. We want a couple of those that are like, there's some that are shaped. Yes. They have a shape to them and we want that. And why, why does it that there we go. I was going to say, why does it that hook to this? We want a couple of shaped ones. There we go. Dance, you're going to have such fancy quarters. So I apologize to anybody who does not care about building. Um, I really, really like it. Balcony? No, we don't need a balcony. Ooh, wall. No, he gets a bank of windows. Yeah, he gets a nice bank of windows to check on the recruits. And then, um, let's give him one of those. And uh, eh, I think he's got a pretty good lookout right there. Well, we have one of them, so let's use it. Then let's give him some of this. Because I'm going to put his I need to put his bed somewhere and we don't want people to immediately be able to stare at him, right? Um, I don't know if that fits. Let's take that one out and put another one of these in. Yes, yes, I like it. He's got a nice big living area here. Yeah, Dance, I think you're going to like this. Roofs. So... We've got these roofs that we're going to need here because it's all curvy and weird. It is not curvy and weird there though. And then we'll just sealing up the rest of it. Thank you. Then we will come out here and we will go uh, look at Dance's little pod thing. I did not give him a porch. I can build Brotherhood of Steel like porch stuffs. Um, but I did not give him a porch. We also need stairs. Pod stairs. Can you... Can you... Clip where you're supposed... There we go. Can something clip here? That's all I'm asking for. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So far, I like it. All right, um, furniture, yes. Guard posts and bunk beds. Well, bunk bed top, a ladder, we got lockers, we got lockers, we got lots of lockers. And this is what I love about this. Now, Paladin Dance might have to share this. This is a double-sided one, which means that and this is a, a one-sided one. So one-sided bunks clip onto walls like this and double-sided ones clip like this. They're meant to be like middle of the room one bunks and we are going to actually put that there. Okay, get out. So he may, he may not have to uh, share with somebody. Right now it's a no. I can go in here and clip a top onto here and now we have two beds in here so okay he's sharing that with somebody high ranking that's what we're pretending it's all pretend right now um deacon we also want this is a double-sided locker we don't want a double-sided locker we want a small clip locker can it can you clip how do you clip should clip onto here but it's not so I'm a little, this can be snapped to the bunk beds. Well, it doesn't want to snap to the bunk bed that's snapped to the wall. So can we snap this to a wall? No, we cannot, well, we can do that to the one-sided bunk. Well, that's the one-sided bunk, but I do not want that to snap like that. Oh, I forgot. We need a ladder. There we go. Ladder for the bunk beds. 
Um, I really want to use this locker. I really, 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 really want to use it. So we're going to drop that there. We're going to use place everywhere to drop that here. And we're going to come over here and we're going to use place everywhere to switch that a little bit. So that it... Uh, don't do that. How does that look? That actually doesn't look too shabby right there. So dance has got a locker right there. We need to put some doors on it for him. There you go. Now he has a Brotherhood of Steel pat, you know, kind of looking thing. Alright, we also have Brotherhood of Steel guard posts, which we do want to actually put some up. So I like the vanilla behavior ones. We're gonna place one over here. And we're gonna place one here as a checkpoint coming in. Okay, so when we get people in here, we will have defense. That is tilty tilty. That's better. I like it. I'd rather put it on the carpet though. Feels fancier that way. There, that works for me. When we get more people in here, we will be able to do uh, to uh, do that. Dance now has a bed. The happiness is going up. <clears throat> and we are at the end of this video. So I am probably going to make this a little bit better in between videos for dance because I feel that he needs it. Um, if you guys want to see me build, tell me and I will not build this. But you got to tell me in the comments. So let's give him a door while I'm thinking about it. But you got to tell me in the comments. If you're okay with me saving this stuff for um, for my Twitch building kind of things, then I am I am good with that also. So yeah, but you got to tell me. Otherwise, I don't know, and uh, you could miss out on things. We need a door, right there. Beautiful. Now he has a door. What's in miscellaneous? Oh, the window things to shade the windows. That's actually. Really? It won't shade these windows? Really? I mean, I guess you just snap them on however you want to snap them on, but that seems a little... Whoa, it didn't even snap on. I'm sorry, I know that this, this, this episode's supposed to be... There we go, ending. But I just... That confused me. Really confused me. Okay, so anyway, yeah. So we're going to end the episode here. You have been watching Mom Plays. You can follow me on Twitter at Tonya Trace or on Twitch uh, at twitch.tv slash Tonya T. And I will catch you all next time.